Is it possible that A24 is trying to sabotage Hasbin Hotel? A24 is a studio that, well, there's a common saying about them. If even Studio Bloomhouse says that a production is too weird, A24 will take it. Yeah, I guarantee there's going to be someone in the comments who who's noticing this. I understand YouTube culture. I cut myself. I cut myself shaving. Anyway, so yeah, A twenty four's absolutely asinine marketing for Hasbin Hotel leads me to ask the question that is in the title of this video. Is A24 trying to sabotage has been? Sabotage is kind of not the right word. I think they're more looking at kind of how the fans are hating the writing style of one Mr. Adam Nylon over on Hell of a Boss. They're waiting to see how long it is he's going to provoke that fan base before they release has been. Because right now, he's one of the only two confirmed writers for Hasbin Hotel, the other being Vivzy Pop herself. Yeah. Originally, I was going to release a video about... Now, I've talked about how I expected Hell of a Boss to get criticism. I have attempted to address the hate and address that there is real criticism amongst the hate, and you got to separate the two. I think I failed in that regard. I was going to give my actual thoughts on that show, but that's going to have to wait. I will tell you guys now, I am a has-been hotel fan. And, yeah. I've been waiting just as long as the rest of you have. Okay, not exactly. I found out about has-been hotel in 2016. I was getting tired of all the political BS, which... Yeah, no, I won't make a video about it. If you know me in the real world, you know how I felt about that year. But yeah, I was getting tired of all the political crap. We all were. I needed a distraction. So around 2016, a friend of mine sent me an image called... Called... Well, not really an image. It's that one video on Vivzy Pop's channel back in early development of has -Been Hotel. One video where Angel Dust is making smooch faces at Vaggy. I'm glad they dumped that because these characters are so different. But yeah, I saw that and I thought, oh, cool. And then I went back to the political crap. Yeah, I'm a history fan and I like to know how things got there, but... Moving on. So, in 2017, I saw the same trailer that the rest of you guys did. The trailer for Hasbin Hotel's pilot. 2019, watched the pilot. Then I saw the trailer for Hell of a Boss, and I thought, wow. Another show full of a bunch of people I've never heard of, and only one familiar voice, whose name I've just now learned... Yeah, I knew Richard Horvitz's voice. I didn't know his name. But, yeah. But, anyway, yes. But I had no idea who any of the rest of the people in Hell of a Boss were at the time. To an extent, I still don't. Yeah, no offense, I don't know who half of you are, and once again, I'll get into hell of a boss another time. For tonight, all that I'm going to say is, do I think A24 is actively going to sabotage themselves? No. Do I think Hasbin Hotel still can be and should be successful? Absolutely. Absolutely. But will I admit their marketing style is absolute garbage? 
Yeah, not garbage, garbage. Again, not mine. That's the Angry Video Game Nerd's words. But, yeah, I will say, A24's marketing, marketing department got one thing to say to you guys, but sadly, I don't think I can, I don't think I can make that gesture on YouTube anymore. YouTube anymore? Yeah. Oh, and guys who run YouTube's, guys who run YouTube's algorithm, you guys can fuck yourselves too. Anyway. A24's marketing style. Oh, well, we're not going to release a trailer until about a month before the show itself actually releases. Okay, for an Adam Sandler movie that had a 50-50 shot either way, that's fine. But for a TV show who that has been in development for 10 years and has a diehard following who are anxious to learn the status of the show... Yeah, sorry, A24, that does not work. Me, personally, I still watch Hell of a Boss because I've learned to like a couple of the characters and this still helps me to during the wait for Hasbun Hotel. But, yeah. There's only so much more of it I can take. Maybe they'll release a trailer, like, on the same day as the next Hell of a Boss episode. Maybe the next day. I don't know. What I do know is... I don't think anyone's actively trying to sabotage themselves. I just know that... I just know that I'm still waiting on Hasbun Hotel. I found other stuff to keep me busy. I've gone into the real world, which can be scary and boring both at the same time sometimes, but it's a place we all need to go to. And honestly, ladies and gentlemen, and non ladies, gentlemen, non-binary folks all I can tell you is the hate that these two shows have been getting there's no reason for this this is why I stay off of Twitter because it's full of a bunch of bullshit that plus Trump was on there for the longest time, and I've had just the right, and I've had just enough of, of that guy. I think we've all had our fair share of that guy. Yeah. And now. Yeah. I still want to watch Has Been Hotel. I don't know if it'll be on Adult Swim or on a streaming service or where it will be. The one thing I know, I'm looking forward to it. I've been here this long, I'm not just going to up and drop it. But I don't speak for this entire fan base. So you A24 douche buckets... Get on the marketing. Your normal style isn't working. This may sound rough, and I apologize if I do. But this lack of information needs to stop. Or you guys aren't going to make a dime. A24, at the end of the day, is still a business. Businesses exist to make money. And if you keep pissing off the fan base, you won't make a single fucking dime.
that's all I gotta say here. I'd love to talk more about Has Been Hotel, but the pilot's been talked about to death, and I don't know what else to say until another episode comes out. I have plenty to say about Hell of a Boss, but like I said, y'all are gonna have to wait for that. So, till next time. A-dubs out.